It's uh, December 18th, 2015, and I am JTG, James Thomas Green, and this is my instant review of Star Wars The Force Awakens. I just saw it at the Northridge Cinema in Salinas, California. And I'll roll up the window so the car noises don't get too disturbing anymore. Um, outside Northridge Mall here. And uh, so there will be spoilers. And I'll tell you before I get to them, but to start out, just to say, I would give this, well, let's say about an, seven, between a 7 and an 8, as far as out of 10 stars. It was a good movie. I would recommend watching it. It doesn't seem inordinately a terrific thing. It was a lot of blow em up, a lot of shoot em up. Um, I have the feeling that it's setting the scenes for future movies as much as anything else so in that respect it's probably worth watching if you're a Star Wars fan <clears throat> okay spoilers so tune away one two three okay it's your own fault if you hear spoilers from here on out um, of course uh, the big news is probably Han Solo is killed by his own son and his son the mama the baby mama is uh, Leia that's something most people I think had speculated on many people had speculated on and that turns out to be true uh, I think it's Kylo Kylo Ren he yeah, has the big bad well he's not the biggest bad but he's a big bad and uh, he's not all scarred up like Darth was. He seems to be rather intact and he's obsessed with his grandpa Darth. Um, no real explanation in this film about why he's so obsessed with his father or his grandfather um, and why he's uh, apparently afraid that he'll never be as powerful as his grandfather. He uh, apparently Luke uh, was at one point trying to restart the Jedi Order and then uh, Kylo Ren screwed it up. I guess he was training him and he went nuts. Went after his Uncle Luke. And for some reason Uncle Luke decided to give it all up and went to this planet in the middle of nowhere. Luke doesn't show up until the very end. And uh, he doesn't really do anything in this movie other than show up in the last scene. So that's probably why they haven't been promoting him at all in any of the pre-movie stuff, promotions. Um, R2-D2 doesn't really have a big role. BB-8 apparently has a history with CPO, C-3PO and R2-D2, but uh, what that is is not really explained, because the first in the first scene where C-3PO and BB-8 are together, uh, C-3PO calls him BB-8 by name, you know, it's like, well, how did you know that? So uh, that implies they have a backstory, it was like friendly, you know, well, well known, it's like two people who know each other really well, greeting each other for the first time, or two droids. Um, the, uh, and I don't know names. But the black guy, who's one of the main characters, the stormtrooper who defects, he is not a clone. <clears throat> but apparently he was uh, taken from his family at a very early age and raised to be the perfect warrior. So uh, he's not a clone. And apparently there are still clones because uh, somebody was referring to clones. Now whether they're the uh, Jango Fett clone we don't see any of them and who knows if any of the other stormtroopers are clones underneath but clones of somebody else because in the Clone Wars cartoon series it was discussed getting clone material from somebody else to vary the the clones it's like if you're gonna have an Air Force you don't want to have all your planes to be the same manufacturer because you know they're gonna have defects they're gonna have capabilities so it's better to have like three or four different kinds of jets and uh, so why not have three or four different kinds of clones um, 
so the the star killer is basically a glorified death star it answers one of the questions about how much energy where did the energy to run the death star come from and this thing is like you know massively much larger than the death star it's planet size so it sucks energy out of a star although it's not really clear what it's doing whether it's you know it shows it's sucking something out but the only thing it'd be sucking out is plasma is the gas the plasma now is it doing that and then fusing it all at once to produce the power or is it you know doing a total conversion how much total conversion of energy would the mass of a small star produce there's some physics to be worked out and I'm sure some nerd will do that to figure out the various ways of this but it seems to me these this is the third massive killer machine you know Star Wars the Death Star 1 Death Star 2 was bigger than Death Star 1 according to what I've read and this is even more massive than Death Star 2 and yet think of the resources even a galactic civilization would have to marshal in order to build these things and they're just getting blown up so easily apparently you would think that you know they would do something or perhaps it's just a, you're going to have something with that much power they're going to be inherently unstable it's like making a rocket and the slightest thing that goes wrong is going to make them go boom so maybe that's part of the problem is that they have to contain so much energy that it's you know very difficult to keep them from going boom even when everything's going perfectly but when you have people shooting at you it's unclear whether this was built into a planet or it was built as a planet so those are things to consider um, didn't see anything that resembled a battle droid per se at least I don't remember I might have that might have been one of those things I didn't sleep a lot last night so I kinda was half drowsing a couple of times in the movie but I don't think I missed anything too significant I'll have to watch it again sometime um, so yeah in conclusion definitely worth a watch um, probably worth a second watch too because I'm sure I'll see things the second time I'm currently in the process of re-watching the uh, Clone Wars uh, animated show which is pretty good even if it's animated animated doesn't mean just for kids um, oh disappointments things I would have wanted to see and I hope I see in future Star Wars movies Ahsoka Tano was Anakin Skywalker's Padawan. Uh, she was in the Clone Wars uh, co uh, cartoon show, animated, and uh, she's in the Star Wars Rebels show as well. And she would be old. She would be young enough that she would should be part. She should be alive if she's not have been killed off at this point. So Ahsoka Tano. Um, and uh, I know there was other things I was hoping I might see but didn't expect to see. Ahsoka I hoped to see but didn't expect to see. But I hope to see her in a future movie. And so there's more I could say, but let's just say that's all for now. James Green is a stranger whose origin is unknown.